Get over here! Okay, so moving on to part two of the list at number five. Getting the order a little bit confused. Uh, Laurent. Is, was Laurent five or four? No, Laurent was five. Okay. Okay, this I'm... Um, Is this... it Laurent or Laurent? Um, I say Laurent, because, you know, uh, accent type thing. Okay, isn't it E-N-T e at the end? Yeah, it's E-N-T. Well, okay, doesn't matter. There are correct pronunciations, but don't be a jerk when somebody doesn't pronounce something right. Yeah. Although, I will admit, this one I'm actually kind of stumped on. I can't find a thing I like about Laurent. Um, I didn't really have anything about him either. Uh, the two most interesting from the comments of that video that I found was... There's one person I got into a conversation with about... If you just not caring about the character is a good reason to put them so high on the hated. Um, my response to that is that this wasn't a hated list, it was a least favorite. Yeah. And I think uh, Laurent kind of stands as the like the vanguard of all boring characters, like there with like Molder from Sacred Stones and stuff like that. Um, yeah. The thing is, like, Molder doesn't really have anything necessarily bad about him. I didn't mention this during the countdown either, but one thing that I disliked about Laurent, too, is that he is such a prude. Yeah. I guess the idea is for him to be the straight man. He is. And, and but... that is nice for him to be the straight man because most of the kids are pretty ridiculous. Yeah. That being said, it gets to the point where I just wanted to... Okay, there was one comment I saw on that video that told me about an interesting thing you can figure out about Laurent if you pair him with Noir. Um... I watched that support conversation. I actually, rem I actually remember getting it in my own playthrough, but I watched it for the sake of, like, trying to remind myself. Okay, I feel like I scoured all of his support conversations, but I'm not sure. It's when it? he's worried about Noir's health. Because like she's not the she's not the uh, strongest person in the army. Yeah. Like and sh and he's constantly like nagging at her to take care of herself. It gets to the point where I actually sympathize with Noir in that I just want him to shut up. <laughs> I find it kind of funny that he's like. This is <laughs> this isn't really a good point, but um, I find it kind of funny that he's the one who ends up, like, keeping track of the storehouse and the supplies and all of that. Yeah, that you you figure that you figure out about that when you pair him with Severa. Yeah, because <laughs> he's the army's accountant. So, of course he's boring. He's an accountant. Yeah, and even then, Muriel's <laughs> practically the same way, and yet she's still more interesting. M Muriel's not boring. She's pedantic. Yeah. And she's predictable, but I wouldn't call her boring. No, she's not boring. I, I, I actually legitimately like Muriel, to be honest. Yeah. Like, she's not the most interesting uh, person ever, certainly not, but there are some things about her that I like. I absolutely adore her conversations with Gaius. I will say Laurent is perhaps the greatest example of a normal person in the entire Fire Emblem canon. Laurent? Yeah. Yeah, probably. Um, so, I mean... If I could say his best redeeming quality, it would be that he plays a good straight man to a lot of other characters. I guess. Because that. But there are better ways to do it. That I, I agree. Um, if you want a straight man in in the uh, oh, Fire there's, Emblem, there's two treasure chests. Yeah, there are. It, I, I mean, it, here it's Ellawood, and that's just fine, and it still feels like he has character. Yeah, here it's Ellawood. And if you're talking to a straight man in the, the fire, in the Awakening itself, frankly, Krom kind of fits that bill. I have no idea what's in that other treasure chest. Huh. The, the wiki is failing me. Might be another rune sword. I mean, I only got one. Oh, yeah, you're right. It's another rune sword. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to set this up. So we are going to do... Okay, so... Uh, remember that little secret we were talking about earlier? Well, we're gonna do it here. Here's the thing. As soon as we open this door, uh, units are going to spawn here, and, uh, they're going to- and that's one last obstacle we need to get here. Now, 
Some people, now, like, clever players would think, Oh, hey, what if I warp someone in there? And, and, like, uh, go after Kishuna that way. That way I won't trigger the, trigger the trap, uh, by opening the door. And I can just kill Kishuna that way. And <laughs> not the case. I, I, I'm just gonna let the situation speak for itself here. This is dumb. In front of the door. That happens. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen it before. It's so fast. <laughs> so yeah, that happens. Let's take a look at these berserkers. Berserkers, tomahawk and sword slayer. Sword slayer, tomahawk. Sword slayer, tomahawk. Sword slayer, tomahawk. Oh my god. And we got silver bows. Yeah, this was, this was the... I'm just gonna jump right into it. And look at that! Yeah. So, you really think this wasn't a good idea? You gotta admit, you were suggesting this right after Will. Good point! Also, I kinda thought they'd be a little bit higher level than this. I mean, honestly... This is a perfect opportunity to get Lynn and Ella Wood, uh, Lynn and Ella Wood maxed out. Yeah. So I'm just gonna have Hector stay there with the Wolf Bale, and uh, and then they're crazy. all gonna range attack him. Yes. So yeah. Look at that. What? Yeah. No chance to damage. I love how fast they all moved. I know, they just like, oh, you wanna you wanna go? Let's go. <laughs> hop, 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 hop. Oh goodness gracious. He okay, so they're going after Lynn. Look at this! Yeah, if you if you don't use a warp staff, those berserkers never appear. Yep. And I believe generals are gonna appear. Yeah, that's normal. Generals and snipers are normal. Mm-hmm. Level 19! And I think they... Wait, let me look. Um, yeah, they keep appearing for five turns. Five turns? Yep. Oh, this is perfect. Then we can just go ahead and, like... Yeah, go These ham. guys are easy pickings. Go ham. We got so much out of Nils this chapter. Yeah. It's almost too bad Nils is already maxed out, but hey, he's maxed out, so... Yeah, I'm going to equip him with the uh, Lance, because that way he gets an advantage if they try to use a Sword Slayer on him. Okay. I mean, he doesn't look like he's going to be having much trouble in there. You say that as soon as he gets hit. Yeah, but I mean, four damage. That's what I was talking about. It's not yeah, yeah, of... yeah. Nah, he'll be fine. Maybe we could have Lin and Hector help thin the herd a little, though. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Well, I don't even know if we need... Well, actually, you know what? I'm, I'm willing to let uh, Hector get a few hits in here, because... For they're... Ella Wood's safety. They're gonna be enough for uh, them to, like, for him to... Wow, that's some damage. Uh, there's gonna be enough for Ella Wood to uh, get, get plenty of... Uh... Yeah. Experience to max out. But yeah, honestly though, that four damage, that's only really a result of Ninus's grace. Yeah. So that's uh, something to keep in mind. Yeah, he'd be in trouble without that. Mm -hmm. Just in case. Eh, why not? Experience, and we have another physics staff. Yep. I mean, it's only a. F that other physics staff is only f at four charges left. Oh. Ugh. This one, however, still has it still is at thirteen. Yeah, because I got it from uh, Pent. Can we use hammering on a physics staff? Um, I use the last of the hammer. Right, but hypothetically. We could uh, have... yes, if you have someone else holding the. I think so, actually. No, I don't know if you can uh, use. I don't know if you can use it on uh, non weapons. Something to look into. Do you think you could use a hammering to fix a hammering? I thought about that too once. 
Can I use my third wish to wish for more wishes? <laughs> <laughs> no. This is absurd. Our lords are just so unbelievably strong. I wish for more wishes. We're fairy godparents, you get unlimited wishes. Then I wish for more! Hmm. Once we take out that last berserker, I think we'll... What kind of attack are we looking at on these snipers? Uh, longbows, longbows... What, what's their attack stat, though? Uh, that's a good question. I, I, I want to compare 14. it to the, to the Berserkers. 18. Not that much different. So, I mean... I don't know, letting them all take attacks might be a little dangerous. Yeah, then again, though, if we just do what we can to clear out the room as fast as possible. Yeah. No, I think I know how I'm going to do this. Okay. Because he's not going to have Ninus's Grace next turn unless we get Nils up there. Which I'm going to. Okay, and you're going to rescue him then? Um, no. Okay. No, um, I'll show you what I'm doing in just a moment. <clears throat> I'm going to have Nil over here. Uh, Lin over here. Okay. I did it again. Um, and with that... This guy can't come over this way, and these two can't go past Hector. Oh, neat. Mathematical. It's beautiful. That might be my favorite critical animation in the entire GBA series. Oh, it's dang good. And with that, Lin is maxed out. All is left is Ellawood. As a matter of fact, no, none of these guys can reach Ellawood except for this, uh, except for this guy. Yeah. So what I'm going to do, might as well just play. You can throw javelins. Not even javelins. I'm just gonna have him go up to that, uh, go up to that sniper and take him out. Okay, great. Should he? Oh, there you go. Yeah. Never okay. <laughs> Way to Ella go, would, man. Ellawood's getting the message. That's the perfect crit. Alright, there we go. How to crit. Chapter 1. When to crit. This might be... I, I'm actually gonna have to, like, do a little bit of, like, analyzation here, because... It's gonna be hard to determine who's actually the MVP of this chapter. Yeah, have fun with that. Hector's just... Oh my god. Because I'm the most excited about Ellawood, but it's probably probably Hector's killing the most units. That being said, if you want to split hairs, we've gotten so much mileage out of this kid. Yeah. Yeah, maybe it should be Nils. I just might make it Nils. Alright, I'll, I'll look forward to what you come up with. Well, it's not like we're going to need the Manicotti much. Still, I felt necessary to repair it because... Oh, it, absolutely. It is a unique weapon. Yeah. Now, I really like that you repaired it. Yeah, I, may, I might just make Nils the MVP of this chapter because he did... He's been doing a hell of a lot this chapter. Bard Appreciation Day. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's gonna have to be the rapier. Or you can just do that. You know what? I actually just might go start using Thor's ire. Critical Elwood. And if nothing else, uh, he'll be able to max out uh, from Kishuna. Um. Okay. I was gonna say maybe you could have Elwood if he could kill a sniper in one actually, attack, he actually, could use play. Yeah, I could have. Oh, he can finish him off here anyway. Or he can take full advantage of Thor's ire. Yeah. I I meant you could have used play and have him attack both snipers this turn. Yeah, I could have. 
Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that next time. Doesn't matter. <clears throat> yeah, Elowood's getting up there. Like, I'm really glad we got this chapter, and I am actually really glad we did that little trap, quote-unquote. Yeah, me because too. Because we're now getting a... We actually managed to use it to max out both of our units. Yeah. Or, no, to max out all of our lords. It's great. Look at that. I'm loving it. So what are we at now? We are at 18, I believe. No, 19, ni 19. 19. One more level and Elowood's maxed out. This is a great thing that's happening here. Absolutely. This is just me, but like, this, no, no, I'm pretty sure this isn't just me. Yeah. One of the things, I, one of the thing I think thing, things I love the most about uh, Lin's not nah, words. One of the things I love the most about Nils's dance. Wow, three is, times. Okay, yeah. Is that little twirl he does? Yeah. All right, that's the end of it. That's it. Yep. So yeah. <laughs> Do you want to give him Thor's ire? Nah. Like, it's such a perfect little twirl. Kind of reminds me of Aang sometimes. Oof! There it is. Yeah. That's it. Uh. And all of our lords are maxed out. Golf clap. Ladies and gentlemen, the value of life. Yeah, the sad Whoa. thing is these characters don't even know what it is they're fighting. They don't know what we know about it. Yeah. That's the same... Yeah. Kishuna finally died. Oh yeah, this is a neat quote. So, yeah, there you go. Oh, that's it! Okay, I thought, that was, I, like, <laughs> as soon as the music stopped, I was expecting something else. No. I actually got a little freaked out. <laughs> no, we're back on track. That That's it clicking back into the gear of the main right. plot. <clears throat> Here we go, let's do it. <sighs> All, All right, heroes guys. at the gate. That was Chapter 32X, The Value of Life on Let's Play Fire Emblem Blazing Sword. I am the Green Scorpion. I'm the Comic Foil. And next time, the finale. It's finally time to take Nurgle down. We'll see you guys then. It's been good. It's been good. We needed this one. Here's the big... Here's the main issue, though, dude. It's not over yet. We can still lose someone if we if things go awry. Hardest chapter yet, I, I would say, it's in the finale. Here goes nothing. Roll up your sleeves, folks. Be the hero of your story if you can. Be the champion in the fight, not just the man. Don't depend on other people to put paper next to pen. Be the hero of your story, boy, and then you can rise to be the hero once again. And that goes for all three of our lords. And Nils. Yeah, you're the real hero, Nils. You are awesome. Power of music.